I mean, well, and like I say, my opinion's based on the information that's out there to make a decision. So, any oh, consensus in the room? No, we we didn't get to that far. Today. What did y'all get today? to today? A bunch of other things. <laughs> <laughs> you name it, all the different. We're trying to solve the world's problems. I mean, you got all the different issues that are going on in college football, from you know, warning your guys about the gambling issues and the NIO issues and the transfer. I mean, all those different type of things we're bringing up to have suggestions to hopefully we can put brain trust together and try to come up with some solutions for General, some what tough you, problems. What, what do you today produce guys? the most spirited debate? Excuse me? What issues today produce the most spirited debate? Well, probably the NIO and the transfer portals and all those different things that all those – intermingle and do with and also that you know the new thing that comes up was gambling i mean which came up too you just kind of warn your kids about what what's legal what's not legal because a lot of states things are legal to gamble on you know what i'm saying but the ncaa rules are different you got to make sure you educate your kids on those types of things that was that shocked me i mean when that came out that was like you hadn't heard of that for years right i mean i can't even, i can't remember the last time that came out and that was like yeah. and it was like two or three or four or however many and i don't know if all of it, it sounds like some of it it's legal in the state, but and they weren't. I, I don't know the whole details, but just educate your kids on those types of things. Any solutions to the portal issues that came up today that you guys think? No, I mean, no, I mean, like I say, there's reasons to transfer, and I think they're great, and just got to try to, you know, make sure guys are making good choices, not using the portal as. Uh, for the wrong reasons, just trying to get out, you know, trying to compete and do things. But there's reasons to transfer too, because I mean, we all have done it, and people have done it. Is there any way to stop tampering? <laughs> the NFL deals with it, don't they? Major League Baseball deals with it. I mean, that's that's something that I wish you could, because I think that is a, um, an issue. I think that's a big issue, and it's unfair to different levels of schools for getting in it. Does anybody ever offer a? a well, I mean, it's just like you. I mean, just if you got caught cheating. It's the same scenario. If you get caught, you get caught. I mean, however they can catch you or whatever you do. And I think it's, I think that's one of the big problems we do have right now is tampering, and it needs it needs addressed. Or, and I don't say addressed. It just the issues of how you, how it happens. It's a shame because I mean, guys shouldn't. Have, I mean, you know, just bouncing around. I, that is a shame when people tamper. Yes. How are you guys have had to deal with multiple transfer portal windows? What, what are you? What are kind of your thoughts on that after dealing with one in December, January, and then one? Now you sweat your way through them. I mean, you, you know, the right guys, and that's where the relationships with your players and things that happen. And listen, transfers on all schools are going to be inevitable. I mean, every year you're going to have transfers. That's just part of the game in today's world. Just hope they're doing it for the right reasons and it's something that can benefit them and they don't get themselves caught out there without a scholarship sometimes or, or trying to leave for the wrong reasons. I think that's the biggest thing about it. Do you think there should be an adjustment to the calendar, though, whether it's just one portal or moving the, these dates? Well, back? I think those are things we're trying to address right now. We're trying to – because this is all new on us, too. I mean, for us to sit and brainstorm, I mean, and how it affects one level of ball compared to the second levels of ball, and then you have, you know, also you have graduate students in there. Because, see, graduate students have a different set of rules than guys who are non graduates, and they should, but I mean, trying to monitor all those things, I mean, I don't know if there's a perfect answer. I think you're, in time, what you're going to do is continually shape those decisions until something's made. Are there any guardrails that the coaches are coming up with for NIL? Coach, well, for and NIL. Transfer portal well, the, the NIL is, is, a, is a very complex question. Mm -hmm. And it, when you say it's complex for major lawyers who have done it for their whole life. So mm -hmm. for us football coaches, I mean, what we would like, I mean, what you say as a football coach is naturally, you know, you'd like to have this, but then that opens up six other avenues. It, it's probably one of the most perplexing cases mm -hmm. in, our, in, in college athletics, maybe ever when you really get down to it, when you start going down the avenues of what that leads to and what that leads to and what that leads to. Yeah. And, and I don't I don't know if the, I don't know the answer. I really don't. I, and I'm trying to listen to everybody who has the information. Would well, you hate heard the term a couple of times today, the horse is out of the barn. Would you agree with that in terms of NIL? Can it be reined back in at some point? Well, I, I think, say reined back in. I think everything has to have guide, uh, guardrails. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what we're all trying to get a grasp of to get what we can – put in perspective to make it because the whole thing about NIL is trying to make fairness across the board you know what I mean college athletics is based on fairness of competition and I think that's the thing that we've got to find a way to regulate that's the big thing we have to have have you how have you felt about the enforcement of the last couple of years well I mean you say enforcement of it but I don't I mean if if they get caught they should be there should be severe penalties you know what I'm saying but I, and I say the enforcement of it but has anyone said there's can you prove it you know what I'm saying? I think that's just like court of law. I mean, if you get caught and it's proven, then it should be severe penalties. But 
I can't say enforcement because I don't know anybody's really been caught. Jimbo, you mentioned the gambling issue. It, it, it's come up before this idea of maybe having an injury report or an availability report, and that's something. Has that did that come up again? Oh yeah, I mean, well, you do all those things, but but it's, it's amazing how the folks who gamble already know it before any injury reports out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how they all have their avenues of knowing. When they they know stuff sometimes before we know stuff. I mean I mean as crazy as that sounds. I mean and, and other people even their families. Hey, so and so was banged up today. Or he pulled a hamstring today. It's funny because they always have people around your campuses. You know your kids who they're talking to. I mean I'm I'm just going by what they're telling me that people have the, the vast amount of information they have and the pros who come in and talk to us and say I knew this 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 and this at different you know scenarios of games and whether it's a pro game, a college game. And the thing about college kids, they're a lot more vulnerable than pro kids because all right, they're out going to class and who they talk to in a casual conversation, it's easy to get some. I mean, hey, so no, he's all right. He'll, he, he banged up a little bit, but he'll be all right tomorrow. His, I mean, they talk out of general. People mm -hmm. get information out of them like crazy, and that's what's happening. Would, would injury reports stop any of that? People no. still want more no, inside because, information. All right, and then, all right, how bad is the hamstring? Right, how bad right. is the knee? How bad is it? Right. Is it probable? Is it questionable? And yeah. I mean, I don't think it would ever. I, I, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Just make your injury report like the Patriots, where Tom Brady's probable every week <laughs> of his career. Yeah, if you put it all that way. But you know what's funny? Those guys can keep it quiet because there's very few of them. Right. Yeah. On a college, when you got 125 guys on a team, yeah. everybody on that team, he goes, hey, and your mom and you're a buddy and, you, and you're, you're walking on the team and not somebody, you know, no, I, got, I know what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With, out of innocence, not out of anything. And I think that's the, the part of it that makes it different in college sports. Jimbo, was there any talk in there today about the new Texas law regarding NIL and kind of precluding the NCAA or a conference from enforcing? I didn't, I, I didn't know that that was in there until they read it to me today. <laughs> How about that? So I'll, I'll, I'll gather that. I didn't know what, what all was passed. I've been... We've been recruiting and doing all those things right now. I had no idea. So, were they? Concerned? Well, I mean, all well. Anyway, here's why you're concerned. Whether it's that law, but every state has a different law. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's it's to get uniformity is what you got to try to do about NIO. I think that's the first step to doing it the right way is finding uniformity across the board so it's equal competition mm -hmm. levels. And to me, that's the key, and that's where. Probably our government has to be the one to step in somehow, some way to be able to do that. So are you and Knoxtip was saving as far as unionizing him, following the NFL route. He said well, that earlier. Well, that today. opened up a, a whole. There, there's a listening to the people on that, and I'm not a. That opens up a whole can of worms as far as different complexities across the board, which is again is above my pay scale too. And that's why they're doing it. And that's why they're going through now explaining all the different things to us to give everybody's opinion. You know what I'm saying? And we're still gathering information. They're explaining them to us, and they're going to continue to do it while the meetings are going on. On the tampering issue, when, when nobody's gotten caught, but every coach has tapped it everywhere, would you huh. like to see coaches name names more? Yeah, well, how you, can, how you can name names, because I think a lot of those things are done through third parties. You know what I mean? I think there's a lot of third parties because guys can have agents, they can have this, which is, I'm not saying it's one way or the other, but you're add, the more people you add into the mix of information, the easier it is for people to get to those guys and drop a hint or whatever it, it may be to do whatever they need to do. So mm -hmm. there's a, that's a whole company. party names? Well, you would. If, if guy, but again, is it hearsay or do you have right. actual proof? It's like knowing somebody did something in court and proving it in court is probably two different things. So, I mean, you have the same issues here. And that's where I think everybody who's enforcing the rules, that's where their issues are. One more game. If you're allowed only one permanent rival, who does a and want? <laughs> I mean, if you say when – when Texas comes in the thing, I mean, of course, you'd want Texas. I mean, because that's the traditional rival and the things you have. But there's a mm -hmm. lot of great ones in the SEC, too. I mean, you love playing, like, you know, whatever the model goes. Was 1-7 or 3-6, you know what I mean? I mean, 3-6, different schools you'd have, you'd mix in. I mean, mm -hmm. LSU's become a great rivalry for us right there. I mean, different schools in there. But I think as you go traditional rivalries of A&M, you would probably say Texas. Right. That's why it should be 3-6, right? right well, Texas wouldn't pick I don't know. Huh? Because Texas wouldn't pick A&M. That's fine with me. Well, that's, that's why you're saying that's why they I, should go I, Listen, six. we're not going to live our life worrying about Texas. Yeah, no, they, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're going to live our life worrying about A&M and what's best for A&M. And that's great. And that has nothing to do with them. They're a great school. They do what they need to do. We need to do what we need to do. All right, gang. Okay. Coach, we're good? Coach Thanks. Thank you.